Make sure to press subscribe if you like the content, I post new videos every day. Cutting to the first scene. The Lonesy carry a carriage across Chinatown while people applauded how beautiful my Ling is. Waiting inside is Li Yong. The guests are waiting for them. It is their marriage ceremony. Mai is taken out. She greets everyone, ah giving her a wink. Li Yong drinks ceremonial tea. He is hit to make sure he is strong enough to protect the queen. He spars Kong Pak, thanking him for the help and they hug. Finally, holding her hand, they walk down the aisle. Ah, Toy always hates weddings, but she attended to see if the tongs would finally become joined together. Walter is elected as mayor, swearing to do anything he can to keep the Chinese out. He gives a speech on preserving the great nation and the Irish people. Praying for a healthy and safe marriage, they bow to the shrines. Promising to erase the hideous Chinese alien race, the people cheer and clap. Going to interrupt the campaign, Douglas stops him, saying that he is going to have to let the Irish thugs rot because they will be giving up their political capital if they squander over lowly thugs. Celebrating the wedding, Hong grabs food. June celebrates with ladies. Richard is suspicious because the Longsi and Hopway at one location together is odd without bloodshed. Ah, Som interrupts June to ask about the new printers Yen has to train. June isn't going to bet the entire tongue on a random printer girl. He's training them for backup. He lets him get all the sticky he wants, but not get attached. Asking for a word from the elders, Li Yong is excused. Congratulating him, Wang sits down to talk about love. A finite resource, difficult to get and hard to give up. Smart people have longed to chase it, doing stupid things. By giving him a gift, the elders are happy that Li Yong can finally rule the Tong. Wu Jin doesn't believe in Mai's reckless actions, leaving them to talk alone. Ah, Song congratulates her, joking about how they were just at war and Li Yong was about to kill him, resorting to the idea that Mai Ling is a liability, bringing up that Longzi died in her bed. The elders want to fight against Mai Ling for control of the Tong because she will bring it down. Wanting Li Yong to rule, they let him decide what is best for the Tong. Leaving to think, he goes back to Mai Ling, saying that the elders wanted to pay their respects with a gift, asking why Hop Wei and Longzi are together. Wang explains that Chinese people do get married too. He knows it is something more profitable, explaining that they can help each other, but if he is caught up in the case, he won't have a problem arresting him when it is all said and done, advising him to stay away from business with the tongs. Rebutaling, he tells him that is good advice for everyone like himself. Leaving, Richard spots Yen from a while back when he went to the printer store and she said they have nothing to do with Hopway. Approaching from the crowd, Ah kisses Yen, while Ah Toy watches, realizing something is wrong because Ah Toy disappeared. Grabbing Ah, Ming brings up the fact that he doesn't care what Mai Ling said and he is taking back his property. She bites him, stabbing his guard and slitting his throat. Ah comes to find that she has dealt with them. She hates weddings. Talking about Marcel, Hong introduces the idea that he has a boyfriend. Questioning why Father June is outside, he is enjoying the night air. In his pajamas, annoyed, he tells Hong to shut up and go inside, enjoying the misty night sky. They sit together on a bench. Father June has been experiencing amnesia, a sudden collapse of his dreams. He keeps on waking up and forgetting his dreams. He woke up outside tonight and finally remembered, fearful that if he gets up, he won't remember himself. He came from Mai Ling's wedding, Li Yong finally got married. But he won't die because he is a follower. Like Mai Ling, Ah Sam doesn't like being led. His intentions may differ, but he will always stray away from being led and become a leader. Wanting him to go inside, he says it's cold. But Father June decides to stay out for a little longer, accepting that they will stay outside for a while. After the wedding, they get freaky and have some fun. The underlings are instructed to take out all the elders, including Kong Pak. Working at the factory, Bill is told that he is promoted. Lucy's sister convinced him. Horace will now let him work in accounting. Amos will be helping him. He talks down to him, explaining that he will need basic maths and low-level English proficiency to accomplish the job. Mai and Lee sit down for tea. They are interrupted by Kong. All the elders were killed. He barely made it out. Mai sent people to kill them because they betrayed her. Lee Young has to choose between Mai or Kong. Deciding to fight for Mai they battle. For Mai Ling, he snaps 
snaps Kong's neck. Crying, he realizes Kong is dead. Trying to explain that they would have destroyed them, she begs for forgiveness. Screaming, he tells her to leave him alone. Angry, they want the Irish boys out of prison. Knowing that Dylan has changed since he has become a politician, he is using them to get ahead. Pushing him, he tells him to go home. Talking to Bill, he wishes he was a policeman. But the new police chief doesn't care. The policemen need the jobs to keep their families alive. Thinking, he decides to do something about it because they can't fire him. Going to the station, he tells the policeman about how he wasn't the last to go because there are a lot of them doing the rookie shift. Harrison decides to release them, opening the cell for the boys to leave. But they are stooped by Atwood. He gives him a wager, if he knocks him out he will let the Irishman go, if not Dan and Bill will go to jail with them. Fighting in a cell, Bill Power slams him, and knocks him out, getting carried out at the end of the fight. Making out, Ah Sam warns her that June is going to try and close the ranks. Once she is done training the boys she will be disposed. He tells her to take the train. Richard watches it unfold from afar. Returning home, Bill is bruised and bloody all over. Lucy worries about what has happened. Drinking alcohol, he explains that the Irish boys have been released. But he will probably get arrested. Drinking more alcohol they relax. Burying Kong Pak. Lee Young doesn't know what to do anymore. All the elders are dead. Kong Pak was right about my Ling. Wang explains that she has him. She always did what was right for her to survive. Even if that was marrying him. Stumbling out, he walks through the rain and damp roads. Giving up on my Ling. While sleeping June a knife is held at June's throat. Father June wants him to take him to his men. He has gone crazy and is looking for his men. Making him stand, June begs to convince him, explaining that he is young June he gets the knife out of his hand. Realizing that he is young June, his son, he breaks down realizing what he has done, slicing his own son's neck. Giving up, June thinks about removing his father. Arriving at the mansion, Douglas gets out, greeted by his butler, getting the plans for the cook and the project. But a maid is cleaning inside, it is lie. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe and watch the next video, I know you will like very much yes.